hello and welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering simple and easy once again i want to appreciate everyone who has been sending very encouraging words very encouraging words and those who have subscribed just from yesterday to today i appreciate you all and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please click the subscribe button so that when next we put up videos you will be notified we have different comments and there's something i keep saying and i still noticed it being done please if you are commenting please tell us where you are commenting from where you are commenting from it will really help us to know how far our messages or our videos are going so we will be taking some of the comments made by some of our subscribers uh, we have this from engineer Ali Chenu Aduga. Engineer Ali Chenu Aduga. You didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please, you can reply and tell us where you are commenting from. You said wonderful explanation on scaling on proto detail drawing. Thank you, engineer Aduga. We appreciate that. Also, we got another me message from Hillary Tomusime. Hillary Tomusime. Please, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. You said, this has been my challenging part in structural process. Thank you, sir. Keep up the good work. We really appreciate that, Hilary. I appreciate all those beautiful comments. Keep them coming. And those who are here to subscribe, please click our subscribe button. And if you are gaining value for any of our videos, please tell us at the comment section. These are the only way you can encourage us to do more. The ways you can encourage us to do more is by subscribing and by commenting that yes, it has been helpful to you and when you are commenting please don't forget to tell us where you are commenting from we have this question from hamzat mohammed mohammed you didn't tell us where you are commenting from hamzat mohammed he said well done sir god bless you thank you sir my question is we have different reinforcements in different stories but the same column position how do we do it what i mean is we have 4y16 in column 1c1 that's the ground floor then we now have 4y25 in column 2c1 first floor the same position different story how do we go about it thanks uh mohammed there is something about um, this proto structure in detailing or in designing column. The way it designs column, I'm not really, I don't really use the column, the design of the column. That's why I said, if, if you check our previous videos, I explained all these things that I don't really use the column detail the slab reinforcement for my final drawings i only pick some of them check out previous video i explained all that but in order to solve what you are asking how i solve it is please pay attention i go to this position i click on active window settings and visual interrogation interrogation i come to column plan display i click on it i click on asia load come here i click on the load combination i do this i click on the load combination and the load combination at least four of them then i say okay if you do that you will let me close this so that you see it properly okay if you do that you see the different combination and their different loads 
you see the different combination and their different load so i check on this then if you go to the second floor you see the the columns have been reduced if you go to the roof it has also reduced so with this you can design your take let's say we'll go back to even in zero you see your column your column load so i pick i look at this this is 937 this is 937 this is the is is like 527 so there are other softwares i use in doing my my column design at times i i use a cell the yeah, cell there's an uh, uh, ROC Excel sheets that I use. If I pick out the worst or the heaviest column, like this, if you design for this one, it will serve for the columns at the middle. Then you come to this part. This is 500. If you design for this, so you can design for two typical columns and use them. Then at the edge, we have two 81. You design so you can have three sets. Of columns that you design using either that is cell or you design it manually for that why for your second floor you come here you see it's smaller so what you are asking it won't work or maybe it's based on some of the the, the production because computer is garbage in garbage out so with this you know that your second floor reinforcement cannot be bigger than your first floor reinforcement so you do that and you produce a clean drawing please go through our previous um, videos we really explained that Mohamed I hope this answers your question or if not please let us know if you are clear with what I have explained I will be asking I've been getting a lot of question about um, how to work how to organize your how to organize your drawings in in after you export from Prota DT and you are working on AutoCAD how do you make your work easier and faster so today we'll be talking about some of the shortcuts in AutoCAD that makes our work easier and faster and also if you check on the description I I I placed there's a link to the shortcuts that we'll be using on this um, video so if you can go to the link and uh, go to the description and copy out the the stuff that we've placed there so we'll be talking about this is our um, our AutoCAD and there are some tools we need to work with that makes our work easy so if you look up here all these are the tools we need to use to work in AutoCAD we 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 use line a lot we use poly lines we use move we use offset we use we use a lot of other um, things so we will be we will be um, looking at it if you look carefully here these are some of our shortcut keys we have lines the shortcut is l poly lines pl circle c arc is a triangle is rec ash is h um modify m copy co stretch s and these are all this will be placed in the in the description um, um, section so you can download this file so that you use it to practice all this will make your work easy so let's start writing so the first one says line instead of we to constantly pick line always you can easily just type l l if you look at it l that is line 
you you click enter after you've typed then you just create your lines you can make click create, create your lines this becomes your line this becomes your line but you know a line is separate one after the other but if you want something to be together then you need a polyline like what we've said we've draw line our polyline will use pl 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 polyline so if you look at it after you've done that they are together as one they are together as one if you do circle circle you say c is our circle click on it and you get your circle um after that if we look at what we do here then the next thing we do we know we work majorly with modifies move we can move this if you want to move this when you are light you say m m signify move so that the things would be easy move if we say um this is copy you are light and you say co copy you cannot copy you cannot copy we say what again here yeah? if you want to mirror something you want to mirror let's assume you want to mirror this you want to mirror this you are light and you say i am mirror then there's another interesting thing once you type in your letter it will show here and you can easily pick out what you want um your your mirror you can draw a line l and offset o if you look at it it will show you the option offset then tell her tell tell it how was the distance you want to offset we say five thousand so whatever it is you said you 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 look if you look at it mirror train break join whatever it is you want to do it we you we see the shortcuts so that for you to start if you want to train your work let's assume you have this you want to trim you want to trim type tr and follow the command just follow the command you trim you can extend you can you can if if there's a circle there's a circle you want to do the radius if you want to do the radius you just say you want to dimension the rad radius mm -hmm. radius d r a radius you click on it select and you put it there this is the radius same thing for dimension d d i just follow everything that we've said you will get your answer so there are a lot of things just go through go through the file what we've done it will make your work extremely fast and quick these are shortcuts done for us to to keep checking everything so this is it there are the shortcuts we do dimension if you need dimension you can get get it with dli shortcuts these are all our shortcuts they are all shortcuts that we do so please i will drop the link to this look at them and you practice with them so if you still have any question about it please um let me know by putting it on the comment section then if you still not subscribe please click the subscribe button so when we put bring out our next video 
you will be notified till we see what will bring out another video remain blessed thanks